Sangkaan derived its name from Tandaganon term Sangka, which means a duel or encounter, and the suffix an or state or a condition of. The festival, a history-based and held every first week of September, is a celebration of life, an experience of coming together and thanksgiving for the gifts of nature, for the blessings of peace, posterity, and harmony. Sangkaan also manifests Tandaganon's spirit of resiliency and strength. Before the Spaniards came, the inhabitants of Tandag were the Manobos and the Mamanuas. Their presence was even mentioned by early missionary priests in the year 1500. These tribal groups lived in the coastal areas, particularly along the river banks north of Tandag, sandwiched by twin Linungao Islands. The Mamanuas were ruled by their chieftain known as Datu Suba, who was later converted into Christianity by the Spaniards through a missionary, Father Juan de la Incarnacion. In 1609, Juan de la Vega, who was sent by the Spanish government to Surigao to subdue the hostile natives after Legazpi's final conquest of the Philippines, established the symbol of authority by erecting a stone fort called Real Fuerza de San Jose de Tandag and built a small settlement about the size of the football field enclosed by a stone wall. Out of the settlement rose the town of Tandag. The royal fort of Tandag was built to protect Tandag from Moro raids. Records at the Tandag Parish Convent show that this town, one of the oldest known, was the center of Christian faith in Caraga in 1622. Aside from being the center of faith, Tandag has also been a capital town of Surigao or Caraga in 1650. Surigao was then called Caraga, a district which covered the present provinces of Agusan, the two Surigaos, and part of Davao Oriental. On December 1, 1754, the Real Fuerza de San Jose de Tandag was completely destroyed by the Moro pirates. Natives and Spanish defenders of the fort fought the Moro invaders, but bad weather, lack of food, and exhaustion weakened their strong defenses until they were overcome by the attackers. For 30 years after the fall of the fort, Tandag stood still, desolated, deserted, lifeless. Father Jose Ducos, a Jesuit from Iligan, came to rescue and rebuild Tandag from the ruins wrought by Datu Dumango, a moral leader from Cotabato. Here, he re-established Tandag Garrison and restored Tandag Priory. Ladies and gentlemen, from Tandag City, Sangkaan Festival! del Hijo del Espíritu Santo. Amén.
That was entry number five, Sangkaan Festival of Tandak City. With the head of contingent, our city mayor, Alexander T. Pimentel. City Tourism Officer, Florence U. Abbas. Head Choreographer, Lamberto M. Clarissant. 